Okay, so those were our three topics. Now, if you thought I was going to let JD get out of here without talking some Knicks hoops, you see him repping Knicks fan TV to the fullest. That was not going to happen. Knicks talk. I, I know the offseason's kind of quieted down now, okay? We know it's kind of quieted down. But what did you make of what the team did this offseason, right? They added Dante DiVincenzo. They traded Obi Toppin, which is, you know, fan favorite. Everybody mm. wanted him to play. Mm. What did you make of their moves? Good, bad? Do you think the team got better? I think they got slightly better. I think what they're counting on is obviously the addition of Dante DiVincenzo making them a little bit better and smarter as a high IQ player. But at this point, I think they're counting on the development of their young players. You know, uh, Emmanuel Quickly, R.J. Barrett, Quentin Grimes. These are guys that need to take the next step. And when I say the next step, I think it's more of them being prepared for the big moment. You know, mm -hmm. for me, when I say the next step, I, I don't know that I need R.J. Barrett to be a 26 points per game player this year. Um, I, don't need, I don't know that I need Quentin Grimes to be a 20 points per game player. But what I do need them to be is next time we go to the playoffs, that they're more prepared for the moment and that they're able to perform in high leverage, high pressure situations. So I think the Knicks are counting on development and, you know, their Nova players, they're waiting on the big fish. And I, I know fans, they get upset. Yeah. Because, but who has been traded? Who? Tell me what superstar has been traded that you can say, man, the Knicks missed out on that player. I don't. I don't think there. I personally don't think there is one. But you know, you you know this doing Knicks fan TV, you know how impatient sometimes the Knicks fan yeah. base can be. I think the Knicks. I've said this on some other shows. Been on. I think the Knicks patience and the way they've approached this has has been fine. So it sounds to me like you're fine with what they're doing in terms of waiting on the internal development of these players. I just think this regime is going to be. Um, they're going to be graded on when they make that move. And mm. I've said, I said this from the moment that they were hired, is when Leon Rose makes that first big move and he gets rid of those picks and a few of these young players and he goes after uh, Joel Embiid, does he go after a Paul George, does he go after a Zach Levine at the deadline or whoever it is, that is going to be the moment where I think the clock starts ticking because after you make that move, you don't have anything left. You got rid of the picks. You got rid of the players. Now it's go time. And I think they're waiting for that moment. And quite frankly, when you look at taking the next level, you have to look for that top 10 player. The top 10 player hasn't been traded. Giannis hasn't been traded. Luka right. hasn't been traded. You know, Joel and B hasn't been traded. So are you going to go to a B player? For what? If that doesn't help you elevate towards that real championship contention, when you just beat the four seed and... If some of the young, young players play better, you could have, you know, gone to the Eastern Conference Finals. And then from, if you get there, all bets are off. So that's why I said the young players, that's the key to next season is there'll be a playoff team. Those young players need to be ready for the moment. And then I think they'll be ready to take the next level. Yeah, and I think they can take the next level based on what we've seen from them, and they're building a good culture, and that's fine. All right, I'm going to put you on the hot seat again. Oh, we you ask, say, yeah, you get, a rapid rundown <laughs> also could be the hot seat, too, so we got to put you there, too. Okay. Er, somebody asked me this the other day, so I'm now passing it on to you. Early prediction for the Knicks 2023-2024 season, that means in terms of wins, how many wins do you see this Knicks team getting? I think they are going to be... I think they're going to be a 50 to win team. Okay. I, I had said 50 wins for them the other day when somebody asked me. I, somebody, some people are going to see this and say JD is tripping. I'm, I'm sure they're going to do that. They're going to say he's tripping. I well, might go down a, a win or two, but... Okay. 50, 51, 52. Talk to me about why you believe they can be a 50-plus win team. I just look at the way... I, I know some Knicks fans are down a little bit on Josh Hart in the playoffs because of the shooting. Um even though he shot very well as a Nick when he came during the season, I just looked at the way they played after he was acquired, and you start to look at how would that look in the 82-game season, right? They, they, they'll have a training camp. Um, they'll be they have more chemistry. I think Julius Randle, you know, at least in the regular season, we know he's going to have a monster year. Jalen Brunson, year two, being the guy, right? R.J. Barrett now is expected to take the next step. And I do think DiVincenzo will help him a lot, um, off the bench in terms of adding stability, adding shooting, adding defense. He's another Nova player. 
I think there's a lot to be said about having chemistry, about having players that you can play with, um, and having another additional defender and shooter. Tom Thibodeau loves that. And so I think all that together, 82-game season, we all know Thibodeau every game in the regular season. While maybe other teams take a low management night, he's, he doesn't. Right. I think that will lead to about 51-52 wins. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that slight improvement, 51-52 wins. You heard it from J.D. Nick's season is right around the corner. I know you've been taking a break through the offseason. Nick's season is right around the corner. It'll be back here. Giant season is literally oh, basically can't wait. It's good times to talk. I'm, I want to thank you for joining me on the Raptor Rundown, man. I really appreciate you coming up here. Thank you, man. First time in these studios. Yeah. Appreciate it. It won't be it the was last. A, it, was, it was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, it won't be the last. That is JD. Please check out his work with Knicks Fan TV. Hit that subscribe button, thumbs up button for the boys who are here, always representing. JD, we'll do this again. Thank you, man. Until next time, everybody. Peace.